Hi guys, it's Isabella here and welcome back to the channel. So today's video, as you guys can tell, we're gonna be doing another anti-MLM reacts to a popular topic you guys have been obsessed over. I've actually made two videos so far about the topic of MLM coaches. You know, the type of people that honestly get really, I think sometimes missed in terms of talking about anti-MLM. They are the individuals that coach the MLMers, that claim their fame, their success, that they know what they're doing and they can spread their awareness to everyone else. Now, I wanna also make a really quick preface us here because I've had a lot of people try and discuss this and I wanted to make it clear. An MLM coach versus an influencer coach two different things, okay? Completely two different things. There's not very much comparison between the two and there's so much more ethical things going on on the influencer side than MLM coaching. So let's get that out of the way. But anyways though, before we hop into today's video, um, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel and click the bell button down below so you'll be notified of every single video I post. Also, I have my vlog channel which has lifestyle content if you guys are interested and my anti-MLM merch that will be linked in the description below. You... All right, you guys, without further ado, let's hop into this anti-MLM reacts video. Let's go. Let's hop into this. I need to pull everything up really quickly. All right, guys. So let's hop into our first MLM coach of today. So this first one, we're going to look at her name. Um, we're not, Sorry, I'm not going to say her name. Wow, I about spread everything right there. So um, Mama on a Mission. She's claimed to be a coach on a mission to help you love your hair and skin and gain more income. Um, girl mom to three, dog mom to two, 11 years married, work from my home for four years. First of all, though, because this is catching my eye and I really want to look at this. There is a first a, a highlight that is on her Instagram. This is Pyramid Scheme. Let's look at this. So let's see what this says. Somebody made, and I just feel compelled to talk about this because I feel like, um, first off, it's comical to me that people like spend that much time and have that much time on their hands that they can like make a reel about this subject and feel like they're like white knights out to save the day from predatory activity and fraudulent and they're just going to save all these people from network marketing. I mean, it's comical to me that these people have that much time on their hands and their thoughts behind it. Like, I'm sorry that it didn't work out for you. It's probably because you didn't work it is why it didn't work out for you. But that's not the case. Oh! So this is, oh, wonderful. We have a great start. So we have an MLM coach, so self-proclaimed MLM coach here that says that people like me, people like you and I, that talk about this stuff, vocalize it and say, hey, this is problematic, here's why, and you know, actually bring factual information to the table, are just these people that really think we're gonna help others and we don't. Okay, then sorry, not sorry, Karen, but if I haven't helped anyone, then like, why has, why have I had so many DMs about it? Why has my channel done it easily? Why have so many other creators gotten tons of DMs of people saying, thank you for showing me the truth? Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm already, she's already copped a nerve in me and we're gonna have some issues. For most people that put in time and effort into this industry, usually they get out of it what they put into it. So I'm gonna debunk some things for you. So this is an actual comment from the video, people saying, first of all, do your research. Amen. Totally agree with that. Not all companies are created equal. Okay. So yes, do your research, find out. So it says, I was recruited for stuff like this and I was like, nope, just something about it all fishy. Please educate yourself and do your research, people. Try so hard not to type pyramid scheme. Multi-level marketing, ain't that another way of seeing pyramid schemes? So those are just comments uh, in support of somebody's, I guess, anti mlm real, which, okay, not a big deal. And she's like, oh yes, absolutely, like do your research. Like not every company's the same, like check out their compensation plan. Well, yes, I agree, not every MLM company is the same. There are still huge similarities and no matter what the statistics on them are, still very relevant and prevalent in there. I mean, come on now. She's saying, look at the compensation plan. Well, we can look at the compensation plan easily. And we also can look at the income disclosure statement. And what's so comical is she says that everything's different and you get, you know, whatever you put out into it, but how come only 1% of people make it to the top? Two, how come most people barely make everything and put more money into them, like then they actually get out of it? And three, how is it that most people literally, like no matter what, in every MLM, there's, still, there's literally a similar pattern of around 90 to 99% of people hardly making shit. So everyone's just fucking lazy, huh? This woman, she's, you know what? Just because I'm a petty bitch at this point, if you're gonna be that much of an asshole, you're, I'm gonna watch your account, I don't care. How that compensation plan works, all right? Secondly, I wanted to say is talking about a pyramid scheme. All right, 
education on what a pyramid scheme is. A pyramid scheme is you have one person at the top, all right, and their job is to recruit two people. And those two people are supposed to make an investment into something. There's no goods in the transaction here. It's just money investment. These this one person gets two people to sign up and they had to pay money to that one person. And then these two people get two people to sign up with investment money. And a piece of what they're giving is getting given to the next level and the next level up. And then these two people get two people. And it's all through investments and the money goes up and up and up. So the top person always makes the most money. So in a true pyramid scheme, it is true that because you got in early, you got to make more money, all right? You get to make more than everybody else because everybody else signed up underneath you. That's true in the case of a pyramid scheme. In a multi-level marketing, all right, in a direct sales company in what I promote, not true, all right? You get paid more that by based on how much you work the business. All right. Okay, so I'm going to pause this. One, if you're going to say that you're an MLM coach, know what the fuck you're talking about in regards to like this kind of stuff. I'm sorry. I'm like a little bit tired, y'all. So I'm feeling like extra spicy. So if I'm coming out like this, sorry, not sorry. Okay, we're going to let it all out. If you are going to talk about a pyramid scheme, know the whole damn definition, Miss Girl. Because literally the FTC said, hey, pyramid scheme is when there's no product, right? But, but pyramid scheme is also when the main source of income and the main dependency is on recruitment. So you can have a product, okay? You can have a product in that bitch. But if your main money maker is specifically on recruitment, bingo, bingo, pickled mango. It's a pyramid scheme. Girly, do not call yourself a multi-level marketing coach and say you're gonna school people on shit when I was able to debunk you. And again, I'll link that shit in the description below because I will not have her saying that I'm lying. Absolutely not. What in the world? You get paid more that by based on how much you work the business all right and you can always make more than the person that signed up before you it's all up actually karen honey bunches no you get paid mainly because of the efforts that are also people underneath you like sure you work hard yeah but again when the main money maker is 90 percent of the time i have not seen an mlm that doesn't have a dependency on recruitment is recruitment you literally need them to be working and doing things in order for you to cash in a check so absolutely not sit down remove the little coach logo out of your bio period all up to you on this. Not to mention the fact pyramid schemes are illegal. Okay. So if this was illegal, if this was not a true business to be able to do a true business model, FYI, been around for hundreds of years. If this was not a true business model, we'd be shut down by now. All right. We're not shut down. We are a true business model. So it's not a pyramid scheme. The next person's come. Oh, so a company that hasn't gotten in enough legal trouble yet and hasn't gotten caught. Pretty much, okay? Just because you haven't been shut down yet doesn't mean you're not doing slimy shit. Half of the bad businesses in our entire world that have been exposed, it took several years of shit being built up for them to be shut down or exposed for their problematic things, okay? This doesn't just happen overnight. Comment is if this wasn't a scam, we would be selling direct to stores, okay? There's a few reasons why Monet chose to not go the direct to... Oh, so she's in Monet. Oh, ooh, this is gonna be good. To store relationship with our products. Number one, we're customizable based on somebody's hair type. If these products were sitting up on the shelf and people didn't have education of what they're supposed to be using based on their hair type, they'd be using the wrong product then the product wouldn't be sold right, people wouldn't like their results, and thus the company wouldn't make it, okay? So it's customized. So I'm sorry, oh, I need to process that, holy shit. So you're telling me you've never heard of something called Redkin. You never heard of something called Olaplex, you know, a salon that's like, hey girlfriend, this is what's good for your hair care, and like, you know, they're some of the most successful hair companies like ever because they make bomb ass products that are can be absolutely customizable to you and people can purchase them right so who are you to say that you know how to sell a product according to whose hair type somebody could really think that their hair is oily when literally they just have other little things going on with their hair and they just need other professional help instead of some random person on the internet just making claims of oh this will work for you because they're so desperate to hit a rank okay i said my piece so it's customized second reason why monet went this Wet route is because they were in the business of impacting people's lives. It was never about a product, okay? The product is the vehicle 
to impact the people's lives. And the best way that they can impact the most people's lives is offering this to anybody and everybody to be able to promote it, to be able to sell it, to be able to make a great income for their family. And allowing those people to be able to go out and impact other people's lives through the vehicle of hair care, skin care, and wellness products that are... First of all, if you're gonna come onto a freaking Instagram story and say that we're just the dumbasses right now, and we're uneducated, you need to at least know the basics of your own company. You are not the number one premium hair care brand in the world. In the slightest. Hey Siri, what's the number one premium hair care brand in the world? Okay, I found this on the web for what's the number one premium hair care brand in the world. Check it out. Okay, so I'm just looking at one of the websites that's popping up, and again, like I'm not, Avita is high in the list. We have Avita, Balmain's popping up. We have a shit ton of hair, nothing mentioning Monet, okay? Maybe, sorry, my bad, maybe number one in Florida, but <laughs> excuse me. Hair care brand in the world, top in skincare and moving to the top in wellness is a premium brand, is a premium product, scientific data studies backing it, scientific data backing. No, no, oh my God, can I please ask? What new product in the wellness line of Monet is she on? Because I would love, I, again, can I try it? Because if I could have the confidence to be this secure in bullshit, like spewing bullshit on the internet, I would love, I would love to have the opportunity to be like just projecting dumb shit on the internet. That, scientific data, no. Like they got in trouble for saying that. Saying that this is backed by science when it's really not. Guys, this is an MLM coach. This is an MLM coach. Don't hate on Monet. We're the best thing in this world. We have wellness, we have hair care, and we have skin care. We're with back by science. It it is a exceptional product that we are able to promote and be able to be the ones that earn the income from the sales. That is how they are able to impact more people's lives through this avenue than just profiting it as the company that owns it, just profiting from it for their own selfish reasons. All right. Oh yeah, because Monet was like, you know what I'm gonna do? You know what's super not selfish? I'm gonna have a bunch of people work for me for free and I'm just gonna like mooch off of their free marketing. Um, most of them aren't gonna make any money at all. Um, and I'm gonna make a bunch of sales to make them like really think this is a great opportunity when it's not. I'm gonna make a shit ton of money. Sure, some people are gonna get paid, but like it's cheaper than paying like real employees and like marketing, you know, like actual marketing campaigns. So like either way, we're still coming out in the top. Yeah, that's really selfless of them. Get a fucking grip, Karen. I'm sorry, I can't, I really can't. This is ridiculous. When you put yourself on this platform and when you go off about how dumb as shit people like me are or anyone else that's anti malem that like knows the truth to pop off like this okay i'm going to i don't care this is so ridiculous i literally can't wrap my noggin around this like i can't also i literally tried monet's products and skincare and everything like i straight up i literally looked into their ingredients and everything i have a video about it i reviewed their products like i test them out i gave honest feelings if i liked it or not there's some stuff i like there's some shit i hated okay but i tried it because i wanted to really give it the benefit of the doubt it was bad it was so bad i'm not even kidding the skincare is horrific like actual people that know skincare like professionals would look at that like oh god this is not good for you i've seen other professionals in the skincare industry review it and hated it i just could not so not my vibe right this is a way more selfless way to make an impact on the world and be able to promote impact to people through a financial benefit for them of being able to do something as easy as promote a product through your cell phone I just feel like there is a lot of misconceptions whenever it comes around this and it literally grinds my gears and grosses me out. The people that feel like they have to come in and swoop in and save people from this evil industry. And it's just not true. It's been the most uplifting, best thing that's ever happened to me in my life. And it's usually, I mean, I, everybody that I know that has done it has, has agreed that it's been the best thing that they did for their life too. So it is true that if you're sitting they're bashing somebody because they're deciding to do something to help their financial future of their family and it is done through a direct sales company um that is not empowering other women that is doing the opposite of empowering other women you're not saving people you're not helping people and it is just gross just let people live their lives quit having so much time on your hands quit investing yourself into what other people want to do with their life it's not about you 
Okay, but it's about other people that are getting screwed over. See, you are able and allowed to live in happy delusional land over there thinking that this is just sunshine and rainbows. It's not, okay? It's, you think it's this, it's not, okay? It's bullshit. I literally cannot handle this right now. Acting as if we are delusional individuals that are helping people. First of all, I know we are, okay? I'm gonna be super honest with you here. I am very, very thankful and grateful for what I do and the amount of DMs that I have had over... Oh, geez, how long have I been doing this? It's at least over a year and a half of me doing anti-MLM. Damn, that's a long time. Nonetheless, I have had insane comments, DMs, all of it. Like, she can look through my freaking channel and see all of it. You know what I mean? Like, you, like, people that talk about anti-MLM, whether it's just sharing a post, whether it's making videos, anything, you are making an impact because there are people that are learning about the truth and reality of it. And again, how can I back myself up from all the facts and information per every MLM and website? Whereas, what is she doing? She's just literally saying, oh, you're just gross for like complaining about it. No, I'm literally trying to talk about this because this is a problem that affects other people. And like, oh, well, other people that are trying to help their financial situation and you know what, like you're bothered about what they're doing for themselves. Okay, I'm bothered at the fact that they need a bunch of other desperate people to get there. Everyone is literally brainwashed in this industry, okay? And she's one of them. I, even though she's pissing me off right now, she's one of them, okay? She's brainwashed to hell at this point. And it's not okay. People literally fall for this dream and think that this is going to happen for them, and it's not. But that's the thing is you, in order to do well, in order to do well in this industry, you need people underneath you. So it's not as if you're just sitting there screwing your own self over and that's it. You're not doing self-sabotage here. You're screwing a bunch of other people over around you for the chance to get better. And that is not okay. And I don't care if this woman wants to mouth off on her Instagram stories because she's pissed off at me for talking about it. Or like other people, for example, for talking about it. It needs to be talked about. And sorry, not sorry, you can clearly see by all these other creators, including myself all these other people that just share or talk about it they're making an impact and you're over here pissed off and threatened because you clearly can tell that it's making an impact that was fun anyways let's look at this actual igtv that she posted up to this is another little um training thing that she made and uh, yeah let's watch it this is gonna be ooh, it'll be good pyramids versus mlm let's go ahead and put a pin in this argument okay oh uh, well let the haters roll in so again I don't see any facts cited in her description, not a single thing. Um, again, it would be a little bit easier to argue with this individual if she had, like, you know, and hear her out more so, if she had actual facts to back her up. But I never am able to find any form of MLM -er that actually has statistics to prove their point. I've never found one. Okay, you guys, so that you guys can now understand the true structure of a pyramid versus a MLM company, all right? Um, and I drew you some pretty pictures so you guys can see what I'm talking about here, all right? All right, so a pyramid scheme, all right? A lot of them are like, you find out your, your buddy joined a network marketing company and you're like, oh my God, she fell for it. She fell for it. She fell for the trap. She um, is in the cult and she joined that pyramid scheme, okay? So right here, we got a pyramid scheme, okay? And so you have the person who starts the pyramid, okay? They're the first person to join the pyramid. And what they're supposed to go do is go out and find two people who want to invest money into this company, okay? So let's say little Tommy here tells each one of these people they need to invest in $1,000 each to get into this company, all right? So each one of them, gets a thousand dollars and they pay him all right they pay him the thousand bucks okay then tommy here goes tells his friends all right now how you're gonna get your money back is you're gonna go out and you're gonna go find two people to invest a thousand dollars all right and so he goes out and he goes and finds two people to invest a thousand dollars right and then what happens all right so this person's they're on level two here this person pays a thousand dollars to his friend, but his friend gives a cut of it to the person above him. All right. So that's how this whole thing gets structured. So how this person can make more money is getting more people to be, you know, get investments into his company. All right. Cause he gets a piece of it, but he always has to send that piece up the pyramid. Hey girly, quick question, quick question. Okay, and I'm just making inferences here because what what do I know? I'm a dumbass anti-MLMer, but but 
isn't there a benefit, I don't know, a benefit to recruiting people in MLMs? Otherwise, there would be no point in doing so because isn't it to where if you have a teammate and you like and they make money, then you get a cut of that. And if that teammate recruits somebody and that teammate makes money, then you get a piece of all of it like down the line? From your downline? No? Okay, never mind then. In this case of a pyramid scheme, a pyramid scheme, first off, illegal, all right? Because there is no true product or service that's being offered to somebody who joins inside of a pyramid. It is Again, wrong, I debunked that earlier. You literally have a main dependency and recruitment, which is what you see in Monet and many other MLMs. This is something not new, this happens all the time. That is also an updated version and definition from the FTC. Okie dokie. It is a full investment scheme here, all right? So you go out and you keep getting all these people. Ooh, one more thing I forgot to mention, guys. Literally, there's a better chance of making money in a no product pyramid scheme than an MLM. There's a 10% chance higher of you making money in a pyramid scheme, like a straight up pyramid scheme, like no product pyramid scheme than an MLM. That's bad. <laughs> Join and they're gonna be investing money up, 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 up. So it's true, it's absolutely true in a pyramid scheme that the person who joins first makes the most money. It's true because this person gets a piece of every one of these people's investment that they make. And there's only an exchange of money inside of a pyramid scheme. There is no products, there is no service. It is straight up investment going in, all right? And the investment getting broken up as it goes up through the pyramid, okay? Illegal, all right? A pyramid scheme always ends up falling apart, the bottom will fall out, and it will always just topple over, okay? So pyramid schemes don't stick around or the government shuts them down, okay? Now let's go on to the structure of a network marketing company. All right, those are my Monate peeps out there. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone. May I show you, this is what a pyramid scheme looks like. Okay, now that you see what a pyramid scheme looks like. Oh, hey, this is what Monet looks like. Girl, it's the same fucking thing. Leadership ranks and it's called a uh, managing market builder. I wrote it here. Managing Market Builder, it's one of our first <laughs> ranks here. And I wanted to explain what this looks like because a lot of people are like, it's the same structure. <laughs> okay, so this is a this is somebody who decides to join with, with Monet, all right? And they're gonna hit the rank of MMB. So this person joins and they did buy a product pack, okay? So they did buy a product pack, but inside of that product pack is products, okay? <laughs> All right, so inside of the product pack is products, all right? And so they go out and they're like, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with these products. These products are amazing. Holy cow, you could earn a car. You could go on a trip. Oh my gosh, I gotta tell my best friend Sally about this. I wanna go on a trip with Sally, all right? So she goes off and she goes to tell Sally and Sally decides to join. And then she goes off and, and tells her, hey, let's go get a car together. And then she goes over here and she's like, oh my gosh, I know your hair is like a freaking mess and this product pack's gonna save you the most money, all right? So that person decides to join. And then this this person she's like oh my gosh I know you hate your job and you would love to make a little bit of extra income so that you can stay at home with your kids so why don't you join me all right so she goes out and she got four friends all right all four of her friends join with a product pack but inside of the product pack is product right okay so product product doesn't always equal it's not a pyramid scheme you can have a product and can still be up Pyramid scheme. All right. So how does this entire structure get built? It doesn't get built with people just signing up with product packs. All right. Newsflash. Can't make it to this rank just signing up with product packs. You've got to also be able to enroll customers to yourself, which we've got two options, retail or VIP. And all of these people enroll customers. All right. Once there's a healthy balance of distributors to customers, you are no longer a pyramid scheme, you are now a multi-level marketing company, and you are now completely legal, all right? So the uh, the breakdown of like Monate, okay, because I'm just i just gonna talk about what I know, the breakdown of Monate, we've got about two million customers, all right? Two million customers. And we have about 250,000 distributors, okay? So 250,000 of these people, which 
not all these people want to work, right? Maybe there's little Miss Sally here that just has a hot mess hair, right? And she just wants the best discount possible. So she went ahead and bought a product pack. That happens. You have no requirements to sell, okay? So that happens here, all right? So you got 250,000 of these, but then there's 2 million customers, okay? So first off, debunk that it's a pyramid scheme because it's absolutely not because there is a product involved, all right? And there is more people purchasing the product who are not a distributor than the people who are a distributor, all right? Okay, so what happens here? Well, you're like, well, she still signed up and you made money, right? We hear that, oh, you, you signed up your mom and she became a customer and you made a commission, right? <laughs> we hear that, right, 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 okay. Well, let's talk about that here, all right? So what happens whenever you join and you decide to build a team, okay? So MMB, first leadership rank, you built a team. What happens here? This person right here, she's going to invest time into coaching and teaching these people about the product, about the business, about... Um, She's going to spend time helping them with an event. She's going to help them uh, talk to a customer, help them pick out the right hair. Okay, I get where she's going at this. Here's the thing, though. Sure, I get investing time into training people, but one, it's also, like, kind of weird because most people that join, like, don't really know what the hell they're, they're doing, so it's, like, the blind leading the blind. But also, the problem is, is the fact that your main income source and bonuses and everything are dependent off of recruitment. You can't really get a trip a car, anything without recruitment. And if you could, you would see some people at the top doing without because it would be easier, essentially, if you think about it, to focus on yourself in sales. No. Recommendations. Help them with, you know, maybe talking with somebody that's their friend that maybe wants to join, but they've got a couple questions for them, right? So you, you invest time, okay? Invest time. What else do you... You invest energy, all right? You invest energy into this person to make sure... Okay, I'm going to give you my best foot forward. I'm going to I'm going to onboard you with my resources, all right? We've got onboarding resources here that we built, all right? We built this onboarding system for you for when you join, you know, right what to do. You're really into it. You've got the information. You're setting up for the right foot forward inside of this business. We're giving you resources. We're giving you knowledge and ideas, all right? So, this person right here, this person who decided to join Monet, invested some time, invested some energy, invested some knowledge, invested some resources, all of this stuff. Guys, how many other places out there do you know of people who get paid whenever they show up to work to offer their time, to offer their energy, to offer their knowledge, to offer their resources? You made a fucking nine of so people that show up to a nine to five don't get paid hourly. I, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose that. I'm gonna lose, what? Where do you get paid for putting your time and energy into people? I don't know, Karen, another job. You get insurance and I like, <gasps> why would you, this makes no sense. This is, oh my God, I, oh. I am fed up. I'm too tired for this shit. <laughs> There's no difference here between uh, somebody joining a network marketing company and joining any other sales force out there. All right. No difference. Okay. So let's talk about the, the exchange of goods. All right. Sales is neutral. All right. Sales is the connector of somebody who wants something to the item. All right. You're the salesperson in the middle here. The, the customer is over here. You're the salesperson. Here's the item that they want, right? You're the connector between the two. Let's take some pretty simple examples of people who probably have no animosity towards these people, all right? A real estate agent, right? You hire a real estate agent. You're like, I need to go buy a house, right? And so the real estate agent goes out and pulls all the MLS sheets and she goes out and finds you houses and takes you uses her time, takes her time to go show you those houses, to get all the things right. She gives you her energy. She tells you her knowledge of whether or not she thinks this house is worth that much money or not worth that much money. She gives you the resources of her being able to pull things from MLS. She pays money 
to be able to be a part of the MLS system. Uh, and many other resources that she's got. She's got marketing materials that she's putting out there. She's got all this stuff, right, that she's offering to you. And she's in the middle, right? You want to buy the house. Here's the house you want to buy. You go through a real estate agent to connect you to the item that you want to purchase, right? Same thing goes with cars, right? Guess what? She is a real estate agent that isn't like recruiting people to be other real estate agents and isn't screwing them over. And her main source of income isn't recruitment. Go out, you're like, I need a new truck, right? You go to the dealership. You have a salesman show you a truck. He spends some time with you. He spends some energy. He tells you all his knowledge about this vehicle. He gives you the resources, all the things. And he connects you to that vehicle that you want to drive off the lot with right? All the things. Yes. Insurance, all the other sales things out there. Okay. It is no different inside of a network marketing company. No difference at all. All right. This person that you are joining with is giving you all of their knowledge, their resources, their energy, their everything, right? She's okay. I, we have got to switch it up and stop it. I can't keep it. I can't. I can't do it. I'm so sorry. I've listened to enough of this IGTV. Let's move on. All right, guys. So last MLM um, coaches, you guys loved. And there was one that we hit on. And it was another Monet coach. This one. This is another one we're going to be reacting to. The caption is, recruiting is everywhere. So what does this MLM coach have to tell us? Let's find out. Hey, y'all. I'm slowly getting to my destination. I'm literally pulling up right now. Um, but I wanted to give you an idea. What do you think about this? Recruiting is everywhere. Okay. What do I mean by that? This is what I mean by recruiting is everywhere. Have you ever... Do you know what headhunting is? Head hunting, head hunting. Head hunting is where employers go to other businesses, other um, types of workplaces, and they look for, they're recruiting, they're hunting for a personality type. So here's the thing. Recruitment is a word that can be used for literally anything, okay? And yes, we're using the word recruitment to refer to it because they do do that. Okay, here's the difference though. She's talking about recruitment for other jobs, finding people a specific type for a job. The difference is also is one, they don't need to, they're, they're not dependent on their money for recruitment. They also are going to get paid actually because it's le legally required for them to be paid like they're hunting for someone maybe in a leadership role or somebody that's just going to fit the needs of their business okay um if you work a nine to five or let's say you work in retail if you work in retail if you work at like I'm looking at these places. If you look at a restaurant business, if you work at Ross, Burlington Co. Factory, Starbucks, Miguel's, I'm looking at all these places. Um, if you work at any of these places, you have been recruited in a way. Now, let me also explain. How have you been recruited? Well, um, recruiting can also look like a job posting on Indeed on Indeed or on Craigslist. I don't even know who looks for jobs on Craigslist anymore. Um, Indeed, any type of place where you can put up a resume. Um, another one is LinkedIn, um, where you can put up a, any place where you can put up a resume and other people can look for, uh, uh, employers can look at, okay? What these people, what you're doing is anytime you put a resume up, you are telling yourself you're telling somebody, some employer, hey, come and recruit me. Check out my resume and look if I qualify. That is recruiting. When people are hired at a job, they have been recruited. Okay, she's literally just trying to say, oh, our recruitment in MLM is the exact same thing as a nine to five. One, no, it's not. Other jobs, I don't mind because I'm going to get my time and they're going to actually pay me. People in MLMs get their time and they're hardly ever paid for shit ever. Now, how do you, now, now think of this, 
every business that has an employee has been recruited. Now, the only way for businesses to grow, the only way that um, Chipotle is going to grow or the only way, like even just a franchise, the only way restaurants are going to grow, um, retail stores are going to grow is through recruiting. You have to, rec if you work at a restaurant business, you have to recruit servers. You have to recruit cooks. You have to recruit managers. You have to recruit um, hostess. You have to recruit um, people in corporate office, people on the back end, people who who stock or who do inventory, whatever it is. Like every single business has recruiting involved. Okay, recruiting happens everywhere. Panda Express. Again, I'm going to tell you, if you have applied for a job. You've seen a job description somewhere. That is a form of recruitment. Just the difference is the fact that you were the one that was like, oh, I want to work there. I'm going to apply. Um, but that's how people. So those are two ways. People, other places recruit by headhunting. Um, and I am I know about headhunting because I actually did this before when I worked for um, Cycle Bar just for a little while. Um, I was told to recruit. So if I went to LA Fitness or headhunt, if I went to LA Fitness to check out the to check out the cycle cycle bar instructors, not cycle to check out the cycle instructors to see who I like, the personality, and say, hey, have you ever thought about cycle bar? You should come and apply. That's recruiting. Um, I've also done recruiting um, for my other job where you know looking for front desk people so people who are bubbly people who are smiley happy the personality like if i walk into a restaurant and a hostess greets me she's she's like this like perfect little like oh my gosh you just want to squeeze her put it in her pocket right if she was she met the personality type that i was looking for i was head hunting her and i said hey girl oh my gosh i know i know you work here at this place but you would love working at my place that i work at i would love to you know you know get you to apply all right guys so that was like literally it but honestly i thought that was kind of like like there wasn't really much of a conclusion to that video oh okay. anyways you guys thank you so much for watching today's video that is all that we're going to be discussing now make sure to comment down below what you thought was the worst advice or worst part of this video today and i will see you all in the next video stay glowing my beautiful queens love you bye